Well, where am I supposed to sand? Oh, right here. Okay. Well, if you're a DeWalt fan, you gotta love this. Here's Johnny. Oh, yeah. Well, as you can tell, we've got a ton of new products from DeWalt's soft storage line. And it doesn't just stop at the totes and wheeled totes and backpacks. There's even more. Let's dig in. Okay, first up is the Pro Backpack on Wheels. So not only is this a backpack, you also get nice roller blade wheels on there and an extending T-handle as well that we'll measure here in just a moment. Really nice padded straps here uh, with sewn loops in here where you can hang things with your carabiner clips or however you want to hang them. Uh, you can attach them there, right there to the straps as well. Then we have some loops here on the sides as well and even a tape hook right there on the side of the bag large pocket here now this is the model number dwst 560101 so pretty much this whole line of tote bags and backpacks is going to be the dwst 5601 and they call it their pro backpack on wheels now one of the first things you see right here is this water resistant compartment ip54 and store things in there and you can see here waterproof zipper as well as even the flap here and that's to keep when water's running off it to shed away from that last little bit on the zipper where it could possibly leak so love to see that now we have a clip here on the front we have another zipper pouch up here on the top uh, more hanging places here from the sewn fabric by the way this is made primarily of 1680 denier polyester so that's a lot of heavy duty products uh, military um, law enforcement uh, you name it, uh, 1680 Denier is well used in the industry for protecting things as well as making things that are very resistant to abrasion. Now DeWalt also loaded us up with other accessories as well, so it's not just the bags. We'll put those aside for right now. Uh, so right here you can see you could put a, a drill, an impact wrench, what have you. Uh, you could store a laptop in here, obviously pouches for screwdrivers, wrenches, you name it. And then you can release these Velcro tabs here and be able to open this up. Not sure why you would want to open that up, but it opens up. It looks like it just gets to the inner workings of the actual T-handle. We also have pouches on the inside of the flap and then a clear spot here where you could store wire nuts, uh, connectors, whatever you want to, and you can actually see what's in there. So I like that little addition there as well. More pockets here on the other side, and then even a strap where you could hang your electrical tape, your duct tape, your plumber's tape, all of those things right there, be able to clip them back on and easily access those without having to dig into a bag. I like the large zippers with the hoops in there as well. Easy to grab, um, easy rolling wheels also. And by the way, this is $110 and a lifetime warranty. Now, one thing I wanted to check here with the extended handle, the handle extends about 20 inches past the backpack, which makes it an overall length of about 42 inches from the wheels to the top of the handle. So you get a 42 inch reach and it looks like it's basically kind of all or nothing. So there's not a separate stopping point. I guess you can go about halfway there but all the way out is 42 inches. And right there is gonna be about 32 inches. And this is right at 14 inches wide, uh, about nine inches deep. And height on this is right at 21 inches, probably 20 inches of usable space. Now this may look similar, which it is similar, but this is the Pro Backpack. Does not have wheels on it, no handle, no wheels. Does have a hard bottom on it and still made out of the 1680 Denier polyester. And it still has the IP54 compartment here on the front of it. Now this has a load capacity of 55 pounds. So you can load it up with your tools and whatever else you need. One thing I like about this one since you don't have the T-handle, you do have a separate compartment back here to store your laptop if you need to. 
seems a little more accessible than kind of digging in uh, where your laptop would be on the other one. Uh, so I do like this if you are carrying a laptop, maybe better off than the, than the wheeled version, although the wheeled version is going to be uh, easier to roll around, if you will. Um, but again, this is more suitable for that laptop or that iPad that you're trying to store. You still get the large loops and large zippers that are easily accessible. Um, large pocket here on the right side, um, straps back here on the back, and the large padded straps here with the strapping here as well to again hang with any of your carabiner clips. Um, you do get that same loop here to hang your tapes or whatever else you wanna, you wanna hang on here, keys even if you want to but that easily accessible loop and clip that comes in very handy. Um, we also have the tape measure hoop here or clip there on the side as well. On the inside, more stuff from DeWalt. Go over that in a moment. And lots of compartments in here, even a place to store your power tools if you need to. And then plenty of places to, whether it's stored extra battery or put in your screwdrivers, wrenches, uh, and that sort of thing. Flat pocket here, and then a net pocket, so that's not a clear vinyl, but still you can kind of see what's in there, be able to assess that, no zipper or clips there on the top. Price on this is going to be $100, and still lifetime, limited lifetime warranty. Also, you have these nice metal clips here on the top, and then another zippered pouch here right on the top. This is the 16 inch pro open mouth tool bag and this is the DWST 560103 made out of the same 1680 denier polyester, large loops on the zippers. Again, that seems to be throughout and large open mouth bag. Look at that, more tool belts from DeWalt. Love it, we'll go over that in a moment. Those are nice leather tool belts. Wow, nice. You get 31 pockets and loops here in this bag. So you see they're um, nice nylon loops there. And then we have our pockets here to store things. Obviously large open area there. And that's going to be, should be about 16 inches wide and looks like about nine inches deep. And then height on that closed bag is gonna be right at about 11 inches. And I like that folding mouth there. It makes it stay wide open when you're needing to access things, but then obviously close up when you need it to close up. We have a IP54 watertight compartment here on the front. I like that. That's where you're gonna store your smartphone or uh, you know your key fobs and all those expensive electronics that you have, you can store right there. Then we even have a front large pocket with more pockets within those. Large metal clip here on the top. Clip your key rings, clip whatever you need to on there. Large pocket here on this side and then a larger pocket over here with more strapping here as well even a padded strap for carrying this, and you're looking at a 55 pound weight limit on this as well. Now price on this is gonna run you $75 and the same limited lifetime warranty. Now this is the 20 inch Pro open mouth tool bag, so a lot like the 16 inch, but just bigger. Uh, we still have the waterproof compartment here on the front, and the model number to this is the DWST 560104, get a large, padded strap here. Uh, one of the cool things on this one here, if I open the bag, well, you can see it on the top right here, these straps right here and the little level sign there means that these will hold your level. So you can put your level in there and strap it down and you're good to go. No, it'll hold a full size level in here. So really nice to be able to strap that on your bag. Those are never gonna fit in your bag, especially if you're you know carrying a four foot, six foot or eight foot. Probably not gonna be carrying an eight footer on the bag but a two footer or a four footer, you can definitely put in there, strap it down, and you're not having to hold that in the other hand while you're walking around or walking to the job site or to the truck. So I like that right there on the top, making it easily accessible. You also have a 55 pound rating on this as well. Large zippers, large loops on those zippers. I believe I already mentioned the IP54 compartment there on the front. And then even you can open this one up and you have hoops in here, uh, pockets in there to be able to store things. And then even pockets all the way around this tape measure clip here, um, another metal clip there and pockets all the way around it. Now open this up. Oh, wow. DeWalt knee pads, more DeWalt knee pads. A drill holster, impact drill holster impact or drill holster and looks like 
more DeWalt knee pads, another leather tool pack, tool pouch, more leather tool pouches. Those are really nice, by the way. And then even straps, leather tool straps. Great. Can't wait to dig into those as well. But you can see here, uh, it looks like we're probably going to get a 20 inch length. Yeah, right at 20 inch length and probably a nine inch width as well. So yeah, right at nine inches there. Uh, height is going to be Looks like you're getting a, a good solid 12 inches on the inside from that bottom, from that hard bottom there to the actual top here. And I like this one because, you know, not only does it open wide, but it also kind of folds down nice and flat as well if you need it to. Large pockets and pockets all the way around the inside and then a large area on the inside there to pile up all your tools and accessories and everything you need to load those in and take them to the job site and back in the truck with you. And again, this is the DWST560104. It's going to run you a hundred bucks and limited lifetime warranty. This is the 11 inch pro electrician tote. So specified for the electrical industry or the electrician. Uh, we have a tape measure clip there. We have another large metal clip there. We have the IP54 compartment right there on the front. Uh, probably going to get a yeah, nine inches. And then probably 11 inches here. No, not quite 11 inches. I guess I'd say 10 and a half inches. So nine inches by 10 and a half inches. And then height on the inside there is about nine inches as well. Lots of pockets and everything to store in there. You can throw your drill and impact in there as well. Large pockets here on the side, easy to access. Again, large hoops and zippers here with a see-through pouch on the inside there. So. Really nice tote for that electrician. You even get a padded strap, and this is gonna run you $75 and same lifetime warranty on this. And also made of the 1680 denier polyester. I think you're getting the, uh, uh, the run here on what these things are made of. Also 55 pound capacity. Now we've got the 20 inch pro tote and again, loaded up with more tool bags. Get these out of the way. So this is the 20 inch Pro Tote, and the model number is the DWST 560106. Again, IP54 rated compartment there on the front. Keep everything nice and protected out of the rain and dust. Um, See-through pouch there on the front side of this larger pouch. Clip here for tape measure, more hoops. And then we get a hard handle, a hard padded handle that's gonna fold up out of the way on either side. So this is gonna fold either side front or back to keep that out of your way. We also get a large padded strap as well, just like on the others. Again, made out of the same 1680 denier polyester. Um, sizing on this, true size on the inside, yeah, 18 and a half inches. So they're calling it a 20 inch tote, but their inside is 18 and a half inches and uh, right at nine inches on the inside as far as width goes. And then to the sides, you're looking at about a 10 inch tall Hard bottom and big open space there, so it's not going to collapse in and large pockets here to store things. And of course, a, a large internal space as well. Lifetime warranty on this, and this is going to run you a hundred bucks. And finally, we have the 18 inch pro rolling tote. This is the DWST 560107. Look at the large wheels on this thing roll really nice. And then the large collapsing handle or extending handle extends up to easily roll this away. You can put your pretty business card there. It'll put your name right there. Your name will be right on it. So this will be all yours. 1680 Denier Polyester. Again, I think you get it now. Um, large zippers. I really like these. Easy to grab. Pouches everywhere to hang things. Even metal clips. The IP54 compartment there on the front and then a larger pouch with more pockets there for all your needle nose pliers, vice grips, uh, screwdrivers, you name it. Big mouth open tote, more tool pouches, that's awesome. And large pockets in here to store things and even a large area in here as well. Very large pockets here on the end, same 55 pound capacity. Seems like that all of them have a 55 pound capacity. Straps here to carry as well as the extended handle. Easy to roll around. 
Looks like extension from the top of the bag is about 24 and a half inches. And then from the bottom of the wheels to the top, right at 42, 42 and a half inches. No, right about 40. Yeah, I would say 41 and a half, 42 inches uh, from the wheels to the top of the handle. And you do have a halfway point or two thirds point that's only 17 inches from the top of the bag there. So if you want some easy accessibility and easy work to take that to and from the job site, then definitely the 18 inch rolling tote is going to be the one. Um, depth is, looks like right at 10 inches. Width is going to be 18 and a half inches and height on that right at 14 inches on the internal height. Very sturdy design. And that's the 18 inch pro rolling tool bag. Man, we're gonna have to make a separate video with all this stuff, but let's quickly just run through it here. Here's some DeWalt knee pads. These are the flooring knee pads with gel. So quick clips there on the side. And these are the hard shell knee pads with gel as well. Looks like Velcro straps here on the back with some, looks like, like a neoprene. Um, and so nice soft leather strap or nice soft straps. And then you can also clip those off very quickly. Professional drill holster and then a professional impact drill holster as well. Don't know why one wouldn't work with the other, but anyway, so there you have it. Loving these leather tool belt. So this is the leather tool pouch and belt. Obviously we have the belt there, the single tool pouch. I uh, have another one here that is the electrician's leather tool belt. So specific for you electricians, there's your holder for your tape. And here's a leather strap as well. Then a larger leather tool belt. This is the leather tool rig. And these are really nice. And here is the leather tool apron. So love that. I think that's where those straps over there actually went to. The leather tool apron. And then here is our polyester, probably yeah, 1680 Denier Polyester Professional tool rig with suspenders. So should have, yep, there's our suspenders right there. To be able to support those big tool bags. And then more knee pads. Not sure which ones they are, but more soft gel knee pads here that support your knees very well. Keep those from any impacts. Oh, there we go. The stabilizing knee pads with gel. So quite a few things and even more here. Then we have the professional tool rig. So it looks like that's the tool rig, maybe without suspenders. And then the professional nail pouch. So nails, screws, you name it, uh, tape measure or chalk line, whatever you want to keep in there. And then the professional tool pouch. A really nice setup here from DeWalt. Well, if that didn't fill your need for DeWalt soft storage products, then I don't know that we can help you. And by the way, all the accessories were pretty sweet as well. Now that last rolling tool bag. I don't believe we gave the price on that. That's $130 in the same limited lifetime warranty on that as well. Looks like all these are made from the 1680 Denier polyester as far as all the tool bags and soft storage. Some of these tool belts were obviously leather and uh, the Denier as well. So check it out. We'll have links in the description for each of these. Also keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and even TikTok. And if you don't mind, would you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already? And by all means, if you hated our video, well, give us a thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day. Keep smiling.